the shape, to be honest. Um, I have been fine, and I've been looking forward to recording this uh, video for about two or three days now. I've been waiting until I had enough suggestions put in, into why it wasn't out on Friday, but it is out on Monday. So, um, yeah, we've got enough in now, we can go through it. I've got a headache, like, I woke up this morning completely fine, and now I've got a headache again, again, another headache. But, um, I've just literally necked a load of water, hopefully it's just because it's hot, it's hot, and I get an headache, so. Hey yo, we've got to put up with the kids in the paddling pool again. It is the weekend, so I can get on with the recording a load of things for you guys. Um... Like I said in the past videos, the fever stuff is going to start grinding to a halt soon, but I have, you guys have commented on the video saying that there is a mountain James card out, so I will be recording a bit of fever today, and then adding uh, a few bits that I've already recorded to it, and hopefully we're going to have an episode for this Wednesday or Friday, probably Friday. So anyway, without further ado, we are going to be looking at your fever teams that you have sent in a post team of the season. I said I'd do some during one well, before team of the season. And now I want to see what they look like after Team of the Season has finished. And obviously we've had wild cards and things like that have been, been thrown into the mix. So, without further ado, the first one we're going to be looking at is for... Who's this for? This is for Ben. Ben, you have submitted yours in. Let's make it full screen. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Let's go to about there. So you've got this 92 van design goal now. Personally, I didn't, I didn't like him a lot. But, um... As long as you're enjoying him, I think all the keepers are pretty shit on FIFA. They always have been. So, Van der Sar. Okay, fair enough. Chiellini, absolutely, lutely, lutely, lutely top quality. And I've just opened Google so that I'm putting words back on. There we go. I've opened Footbin just so I can have a look at some of the cards that I don't necessarily recognise in here. Go through and have a look at them. Um, but Chiellini, top, top quality. As is Hernandez, 95 Hernandez. That is his... Um, the season variant, obviously, red pick for champions variant, looks absolutely incredible to be honest, um, yeah, so that's pretty, pretty good, um, we have, is that Cordoba, yes, it's 97 rated right back card, only coming in at 200k, which is pretty good to be fair, you've got an anchor on him and you play him at centre back, he's a 98 rated centre back, that is phenomenal, Really, really nice card there. Oh, right wing back, you have Valverde. Let's go and take a quick look. Valverde, 95 rated, coming in at 750k. Wowzer, and an anchor on him as well. Yep, that makes him an incredible, incredible wing back. So that defence completely formidable, absolutely incredible. Um, who is that at a CDM? I want to say it's like. Zola at CDM. You've got a backbone on him which improves his passing, physicals and defending which actually makes him a 97 CDM. That's really, really nice in the middle of the pot there. Uh, Pereira. When it comes up 93 rated, I mean, uh, the state of the, some of these cards is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, Pereira is stupid. Centre midfielder, five star four star, really really nice. And then Carrasco, we all know Carrasco is very very good in this game. You have El Shirawi on the left hand side. We used to love El Shirawi, we still do. Um, Gareth Bale is 98 rated right wing card. I, if I had the fodder to do him, I would have done him. And if I had the time and the effort to put into grinding him, I would have done him. But I haven't had it recently. And then a moment's Correa. I haven't noticed this card, to be honest. Did it tell me when he was released? So it was this month. Why? But what have you got in him? Hawk, 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 hawk. Let's have a look. That's stupidly good, isn't it? The dribbling's got the power. 
passing's okay. The shooting and the pace is great. And he has got four star skills, five star weak foot. That is incredible for a striker. Really, really, really nice. Obviously, that link to Carrasco, I don't know how you set up in game, but I'm sure it's, sure it's top, top quality to be fair. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible there. Absolutely incredible. So, thank you very much, Ben, uh, for this team. It looks very nice. Dan Ivers has gone with away five at the back. Now, I have remembered a comment. He says he's only a few bits of fodder away from uh, getting this Gareth Bale, so he will be complete. And probably by the time you're, 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 well, you guys are seeing this, he's probably got it. So we'll start with the Herring goal. I like the Herring goal. His moments, team of the season, God, is very nice. Eder Militao, stupidly good. Chiellini, probably stupidly good. I'm going to go with Maldini, I want to say. I'm assuming it is Maldini. 95 rated is not Maldini. So if it is Maldini. Why does the image on that look different to when you're about to click on it? Anyway, Maldini, very, very, very good. Over a million coins. Just in that one player alone. Really good. Um, Carlos Alberto or Calvi. I should know because I've got them. 93 rated, it is Cavu. I think Cavu's the one that I chose over um, Carlos Alberto, so I suppose that's the better option. I'm quite happy that people prefer him over uh, Carlos Alberto. And then Cordoba again at left back. Again, another one of those players where he just looks absolutely phenomenal. De Bruyne and Zidane in the middle, that is stupidly good, absolutely stupid. I bet they run like an engine in the midfield, that's really nice. This Solskjaer card looks absolutely incredible. We did look at him, or I have looked at him. Maybe you haven't seen it yet, but we have looked at him, and he's very, very, very good. Again, once you get the Gareth Bale, it's going to be stupid. And then a 94 Thierry Henry up top. Um, how is 94 Thierry Henry in the minute? 800k, he still looks very, very nice, doesn't he? Yeah, with an engine, that's great. Absolutely great. Um, we're going to move forward into looking at guy with the, uh, with his Twitter handle was F, as in E-H, so every single beer, or a couple of H's on the end of that, but we went with it. So if this is you, thank you very much for sending it in. Um, Schmeichling goal, very, very nice. I, I haven't liked him in previous uh, games, I'm, I'm, I think, uh, I know one of my friends a while ago said he wasn't great, and I think we used him at some point, I could be, could be getting that wrong. Um, so, is that Blanc? Is that Blanc at centre back? I could be getting that very wrong as well. Like I said, my head's not particularly screwed on today. 92 Blanc. It is uh, Laurent Blanc. Again, not, not fantastic. He's got an engine on him. That's a wild one. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what to think about that. A bit flabbergasted, and then it's that Saliba. I think it might be uh, William Saliba, 91 rated Marseille centre back. I mean, he's okay again, he's okay. I think out of the three that we've seen so far, this one's probably the weakest in terms of the defense so far. Haidara, very, very nice. I do like the look of Haidara, and I'm gonna go for Cloud Maurice. Is that who it is? Left back, left back, left back. nice player. Cloud Maurice, yeah, I did get it right. He's sat at 60k at the moment. Um, doesn't look like he's many people's choice of left backs, to be fair. Um, and you've got a basic on him. I mean, a basic's great. I think he's much, much better as a centre midfielder. I don't know if you swap around in game at any chance. Because I think Cloud Maurice would make for a phenomenal midfielder, especially with a basic on him. You also have Cool. Is that his name? No, it's not at all. Oh my god, here we go. We're going to have to go back to the players. Nation popular Germany. I'm obviously having a brain fart again. What rated are we talking? 92 rated. Oh, it's Colair. I was close enough, Colair. Um, this is his upgraded um, shapeshifter heroes card. He's only coming in 70k. But he does look alright. He looks alright. You've got a basic on him as well. Yeah, he looks okay. 
much like I had prefer him as a centre back though, so I don't know if you swap anyone around in that regard. Uh, is that Rivaldo? Yes, you're right, the centre back. You must change his team around a little bit. Um, you've got his 93 moments, Rivaldo. Come in at 180k again. Another one of those players that is he's okay, he's not great, but he's okay. Four star, three star is brilliant either. Um, and then I haven't got a scoop. So we'll go back to Nation of France in 93 rated Frenchman. Next page. It is Thomas Delane who's actually a CDM by trade. And you've got a basic on him as well. So again, I don't know how you really set up for this. But um, I'm assuming you've done that just to get chemistry and you might swap them two over. But he actually looks really, really I wouldn't necessarily have a basic on him myself. I'd definitely go for something like an anchor if you're playing him as a CDM, get that pace up to top. Get the defending and physicals are way up, and it's a CDM that looks very, very nice. Gnabry, absolutely class. And is that Gilson Martins? No, it's not Gilson Martins. It is. Gerson, I was close enough with Gelson, Gerson. I wasn't proper, properly finding him, but uh, five star skills, four star weave was very, very nice actually. Another one with a basic machine, you might just not have put um, chemistry on a lot of these. Um, but I would recommend probably like a hawk, something like that. Or a finisher, get them shooting and uh, dribbling stats off the base is great, the pass is okay. Again, a bit of a weird one for me, but I think that's just. I think you've chosen a completely different team, and I'm not sure whether I like it. I think you could have gone for maybe a few better players, but again, if that's your team and you enjoy it, happy days as long as you're enjoying it. Uh, moving on, we do have Finn's team. It looks a little bit like this. Relax, bits. And uh, we have Petr Cech in goal. I love you for that. Absolutely top class keeper, arguably one of the best the world has ever seen. Uh, we have Chiellini again and Marquinhos too. Really, really good players there. Can't go wrong. And this left back can shake Top, top quality. Absolutely top quality. Um, I'm going to go with that being Guerrero. Um, position change. Uh, it is. It's position. Oh, you could choose a centre mid or. You could choose a centre mid, which is a bit underwhelming on that right back guy, which looks so much better. You've got basic on him too. Actually, yeah, I think I'd recommend a basic for the right back. It just gives enough boost to the right areas of every stat. Top, top quality. Uh, either that or a backbone, just to give him the passing, physical and defending boosts. That's probably decent. If not, a sentinel would be very, very, very good for him. Um, so, yeah, looks like an outstanding card. This uh, Tim this Season Bellingham card is a joke. It's an absolute joke. Eusebio is already a joke. He's ridiculous. He always has been. This Fernandinho, when we looked at him a while ago, absolutely a joke. So that whole midfield is just ridiculous. Partnering it up with this right wing Royce that I have already seen. But I'm going to take another quick look at. 96 rated. It's just stupid, isn't it? And what have you got on him? You've got basic on him too. Yeah, it adds that nice sprint speed up to a 99. The agility then pops up. He's shooting and passing goal quite nicely. Um, and then... I mean, Mbappe's Mbappe, and he's just dumb. He's just so broken on this game. And then Di Maria looks absolutely phenomenal. So I've got us, I can't argue with anything in that team, to be honest. Can't argue with a single, single thing. Potentially try and get what you've got over a million coins. How much is a better than Mbappe at this stage? HTTPS Luca. Let's go like that and bring it in as 
a little bit a little bit pixelated, so I do apologise on that. Uh, I just need to go like this, get rid of all these. Why is that one not getting there? There you go, it's gone now. Cool. So we have HTTPS Lucas team. Again, another one which Michael and Gold wasn't always a big fan. Another one with Cordova in the team. Looks like he is uh, said to be a lot of people's right backs. Ricardo Pereira, flashback left back card. Looks very, very nice if you are in uh, need of a player like that. I'm going to assume that's Ronald Koeman. Uh, could be a little bit wrong with that. 93 moments, Koeman. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, only coming in at 185 game. Again, not one of those with the best cards. With his shadow, he's okay. I think that's an area for you to definitely upgrade. Goalkeeper and centre back, I think you can do better in that regard. Um, other than that, defence phenomenal. This um, this Ramos is dumb, absolutely dumb. Sergio Ramos strike card. You can play him at CDM. Wait, how much is he actually coming in at? He's coming in at 1.3 mil. That's stupid. Um, you've got a shadow. You have an anchor on him, which is the perfect one. I was looking at the one with the shadow. So you're gonna have to bear with me a second. So yeah, with the uh, with the shadow on, he's a, he's a joke. It's just an absolute joke. Um, I'm sorry, with an anchor on him, he's, he's he's an absolute joke. A shadow is wasted on him. Uh, the anchor's so much better for him. So yeah. And then we have a CDM Dempsey. Is that? It is a Clint Dempsey shapeshifting hero. And you know what? I can't fault you for that. That's an out of the box one. They're the types of ones I like to see. I wouldn't expect to see Clint Dempsey playing CDM. Everyone says basic shadow. If you whack a basic on him and you are playing him more advanced, that's really good. But you're not. You're playing him as a guardian. 93 rated CDM, 95 centre mid. Hey, that's a solid, solid card there, to be honest. You've got Erdegaard playing that cam role. I wasn't the biggest fan of this Erdegaard. Oh no, I liked the Erdegaard. I didn't like the Emil Smith Rowe version. Um, so yeah, the Erdegaard, quite a nice card. I remember using them. Garincha, great. El Shirawi, great from Rashford. In, incredible. Um, yeah, I can't fault you there. Potentially looks all great. Just centre-back next. You've got 800k. You can you can go out and get a much better centre-back card. Let's look for one for you. Um, I don't know how you set up in game, really. Um... So I suppose I'll just go get you a better icon centre back. And I'm not clicking on anything to do with footies because I don't want to see anything footy related. Um, even a Maldini is much better and he's only 400k. Very nice. 
guys, Etu. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, sorry. Um, Nonkonku, great. Pinedo, really, really, really nice. And this Di Maria and Pele is stupid. The Di Maria is great, don't get me wrong, but Pele is fucking ridiculous. The fact you even got Pele is stupid. But you have this whole team around him that's just ridiculous. So, you know what? Fair play, Matt. Fair, fair play. Still not 195 like my team is at the minute. But what can I say? Maximilian up next. We have the hair in gold. Nice. This is so strange. But we'll get into it. So, the hair in gold. Good. Blanc. Bit mid for me at the minute. Parade were great. But you're playing him at centre back. You're playing him at left back. Sorry. You've got footies. I don't know what this is. But we'll look at it in the future. Footies. Wan Bissaka. Right. Uh, Zanetti. I like him, but I think there's much better right backs out there. Definitely. So the defence is a bit strange to hear, and Beret were great. Zanetti, good. Blanc and or Blanc mid. Wampisaka just shite. You can, you can find a better English left back than Wampisaka. Um, Bruno Fernandes, great, great card. Royce, incredible card. This Mavida, is it? What is it? <laughs> Okay, I don't think it's anything phenomenal, but he's, he's got five star week foot, and I rate that a bit. So, yeah, that's, that's okay. Ned Fed's great, Fantasar's great, and his Lumbo card is phenomenal. Freddy Lumbo. Freddy Lumbo. Uh, he was 94, yep. He's only coming in at 67. Nothing wrong with that card in the absolute slightest. He's four star for oh, he plays in the MLS. That's why that's what's wrong with that card. Yep, he plays in the MLS, that's why it's so cheap. But actually it's a card and you've managed to fit him in very well. It's very, very, very good. So yeah, a nice little little looking team there. That whole defence is a bit of a strange one. Now, this is Nathan's team, and we're gonna go like this. This was his team before team of the season. They have all since been put into SBCs with the likes of Martial, Mark Lowen, Gakpo, Tenali, uh, Weston McKenney, all special cards, this whole back line of special cards, lorries, and this is now his team. Alison Redpick, Romero, um, what do they call them? They call them the mark, not the mark, they're marking matchups. Um, Rive, or whatever they call that, the, the one where you can choose one or the other sort of thing. And they get an upgrade if they win the match. So very nice. Romero, man like Chris Wood, absolutely phenomenal looking centre back card, and then Chiellini at centre back. So three very great centre backs there. Spinazzola is a left back. I can sort of see why he's got them stats of a wing back anyway, and I just think playing him as a wide player that can sit back and get forward. Same with Quadrado, really. They both do a very similar job, although Pereira could also do that job. Um, so Ricardo Pereira. Fernandinho sitting a bit deeper. Obviously, I like the fact that you've got these two players that will probably sit nice and deep, slotting behind the defence to make quite a nice defensive formation. As the wing back has gone back as well, and then as you push forward, these two can just sit in the middle. These will bomb forward. George Best in the middle, absolutely phenomenal card there. Potter in Rashford and Solskjaer, the Man United duo that never got to exist. Uh, but on in game, that's probably very. Very, very nice. So, fair play. Fair play to that, uh, Nathan. You've uh, you've come up trumps with that one. And, oh, uh, Millie. I've lost my link. Where is it? Is this one? Uh, and last but not least, we have Stefan or Stephen. Apologies if I got that a bit wrong. Stefan or Stephen. I always get confused when it's a PH. Because my cousin's called Stefan, but I know a lot of people called Stephen that are also PH. Van der goal, again for me, in between, Carlos, uh, Cafu, good choice, Edem in the town, Marquinhos, that's absolutely incredible, 
Gee, I can say I look great. I've only just noticed that the Joe Cole is a league and variant. So he actually gets that strong link to Marky Ingalls, which is very nice. I might have to look at that for my team. Um, Ginola is stupid that you've even got him. And you've got 97 Zidane, which is ridiculous. Um, and then the front three of, well, it's Philip Norm, so I'm assuming you pull him back a little bit. And you sit him in the, uh, the defence. Partner in Marco Royce and Alba. Just ridiculous. Albamiang and Royce. Probably Ginola up top with. Yeah, you probably play a 4 3 3 with uh, Joe Cole at camp. Ginola up top, them two the wingers, and then Vieira and Lamy inside. That'd be absolutely. 